Well, good day. This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room uh, here in Mission Control. It's been a uh, busy week uh, aboard the International Space Station with the Expedition 36 crew as uh, the crew of three grew to six on Tuesday night when a Soyuz spacecraft delivered Fyodor Yurchikin, Luka Parmitano, and Karen Nyberg to the station, joining Pavel Vinogradov, Alexander Mazurkin, and Chris Cassidy. They've been aboard for 64 days now with the newest three crew members enjoying their third day in space uh, here on this uh, Friday, May 31st. Uh, as the uh, crew members uh, made final preps for their newest crew members' arrival back on Tuesday, uh, those three launched on their Soyuz spacecraft at 3.31 p.m. Central Time on a fast-track six-hour four-orbit rendezvous arriving at 9.10 p.m. And after leak checks, the crew became six with hatch opening at 11.14, followed by a welcome ceremony and greetings from family, friends, and program officials gathered at the launch site in Baikonur. The first few hours early Wednesday before going to bed included orientation and a safety briefing, followed by a day of rest to orient their body clocks back to the normal operating time aboard the station. The uh, crew kicked off its first full workday as a six-person crew Thursday by unpacking cargo from uh, the ISS Progress 51 supply ship and their newly arrived Soyuz crew capsule and then continued setting up the new uh, treadmill in the Russian segment of the station as well. Uh, crew members spent some time working with experiments uh, on board, particularly Chris Cassidy with the burning and suppression of solids or bass experiment, studying the variety of solid materials and how they burn and extinguish in microgravity. Karen Nyberg, the newest uh, crew member on board the station, along with her other two crew members, uh, performed some activities to orient themselves to their new environment. She also conducted some leak checks in a nitro nitrogen gas assembly line in the multipurpose small payload rack aboard the station. The uh, Crew members also worked back in the Japanese Kubo module. Karen Nyberg conducted uh, those additional leak checks. Luca Parmitano from the European Space Agency worked to set up part of a wireless network aboard the station and trying to tie an accelerometer from that uh, wireless network to the new uh, treadmill on the station. The uh, commander of the station, Pavel Vinogradov, worked with a, an experiment known as the Kulinovsky Crystal Experiment, which gathers data about charged particles in the weightless environment of space. The experiment hopes to gain insight into the physics behind electrostatic interaction between electrically charged particles. Alexander Mazurkin worked with a Matryoshka experiment, which is named after the traditional Russian nesting dolls, which analyzes the radiation environment on board the station. That's done periodically by crew members. Newest crew member uh, on the Russian segment, Fyodor Yurchikin, focused on transferring cargo from the Soyuz spacecraft in which he, Parmitano, and Nyberg arrived, and uh, also uh, spent some time orienting himself to the environment around the station as well. The crew members also uh, began their uh, uh, preparing for the arrival next week of an automated transfer vehicle from the European Space Agency that will deliver additional cargo to the crew. So they're looking forward to that, uh, which will occur on um, Wednesday of uh, next week. And this weekend, the crew members will essentially have some off-duty time. They'll check on some ongoing experiments on board and talk with family members uh, here on the ground. And then uh, on Monday, they will uh, begin a new week by undergoing some routine uh, onboard training with uh, emergency hardware familiarization aboard the station. So that's the week uh, for Expedition 36 aboard the International Space Station. Have a great weekend, everyone. This is Mission Control Houston.